Hi, I'm Sassy Bob with AndroidGals.com and I'm gonna show you the first five apps I install when I get a new phone. When I get a new phone, there's a few things I like to do to it. Take it out to a nice dinner, maybe a movie. Drive up to Lover's Lookout. I look deep into its AMOLED screen and say, Oh my, what a big clock you have. Where should I stick this widget? App number one, BTL Launcher. I hate app drawers. It reminds me of that junk drawer you stick everything in, especially when there are a ton of apps that came with the phone that I never use. Bloatware sucks. I also like to have a clean home screen free from a bunch of widgets. So I install this app. It makes the apps you need readily available show up right here. You can personalize it to show up on the left, right, and the bottom if you like. Save your junk drawer for, well, junk. App number two. My next video will be comparing a bunch of on-screen keyboards. I've always used Smart Keyboard and I recently downloaded Swift Keyboard to try out and I'm having a really hard time deciding between the two. I definitely think everyone should toss the on-screen keyboards that come with your phone because there's a lot more out there. App number three. I have a hard time remembering things, so I downloaded this app called Color Note. It helps me remember my number or important events coming up or even a grocery list. It has lots of colors for personalization and shows up as a widget right on your home screen. App number four. This is basically an app killer on crack. There are too many features to explain it all here, but link in the description to find out more. App number five. This is the most intuitive mobile browser I've tried. Just as with VTL Launcher, it allows you to be able to control everything starting with your thumb. Most people are right-handed and will be holding their mobile device with their right hand. It's also got two bars at the top, one for Google searches and one for URLs. Please don't forget to favorite this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow Android Gals and Sassy Bob on Twitter. Bye.